Hello everyone, this is Art of Vital Gamer, back with some more Miss Survive on the PC. Previously, we went to, to town and got a bunch of loot from basically all over part, different parts of town, so we have tons of stuff which we brought back, which today we're going to showcase what the heck did I acquire. Look at all the stuff I acquired, and I stuffed it into this car. So let's get started, as I stockpile these into the house. Okay, first box. Oh, I'll take those. A sec, let me leave these locks down for a sec here. So I showcase what we have acquired in our trip. And we've got these branches so I can prep my arrows later. Okay, so there's enough room in there so I can afford to do this. So first box, let's rotate the box as we take it in. Leave this here. Okay, so let's take a look inside. Now grab it out as I present them and put them on the ground. Of course, a few basic items here so far as you can see. We have some tape, three units of batteries, some metal scraps, a couple of components which help manufacture stuff, a can of Coca-Cola, a can of fruit, an apple, another cola, a decent amount of revolver ammo, a grenade fragment, weapon fragment, a bunch of rags which we can use to make bandages, some drugs because we need painkillers and bandages to heal our wounds in case we get injured, two long bullets heavily damaged, some shotgun shells, and here's one of more cool items I found. A revolver. This is a beautiful looking revolver. Like, like they'll say, it's a looks like a nickel plated forty four. Very good at taking down bandits. And if you've seen Taxi Driver, you probably say the forty four. You probably put a, a, a round through the engine block and take out the vehicle. But since we're not, I highly doubt these bandits could drive. We don't have to worry about bandits driving around, so we don't have to shoot any cars. But it's a very nice gun, as you can see. Packs a wallop. Good against bandits, and I have a use for it now. So you can say it's one of the few beauties I found while exploring. So let's plop it down. Let's get our next card box. In this next military chest I found, which I stocked up, this is what the beauties we have in this chest. As soon as we can get through the door. <laughs> yes. In this chest, as you can see, we found a baseball bat, very good for slugging zombies or bashing bandits in the head. Crowbars, which is also time opening doors, also good for bashing zombies. A t-shirt, which I'm probably not going to wear because I already have those shirts. Canned tomato sauce, very healthy and good for you. Canned fruit to help treat you scurvy. Some beef can full of canned meat. A potato that I took off a zombie's butt. A couple pieces of units of wood. And another can of Coca-Cola. That's what we found that chest that we brought in. Let's continue as we can explore more of the beauties what we find inside the luggage. Next one is the suitcase. The suitcase I have right here. In this suitcase we have brought back, we have a lovely pile of batteries, which is good for our flashlight, 
tons of metal scraps so we could basically manufacture more nails, components which we would need for our chicken fans, some more wood, tons of sugar for basically making alcohol, we have more rice for bandages, and another can of cola, it looks like lemon nectar cola for the wholesome goodness inside of you. You know, I'll just grab more of these at a faster pace. Let's have a sip of water as I continue presenting what we found in our goodie collection. Close the door to be safe. Other beauties we found was another pair of beautiful revolvers. That will make Dirty Harry proud and packs a very nice wallop as you can pound zombies down with one shot into the head. Or to humans, I shot to the chest to take them out. We found tons more metal scraps so we can manufacture more nails and of course more components. We found this hunting knife, another axe to chop wood, a couple of baseball bats to slug them more, some more canned fruit, another beef can, broccoli, healthy broccoli to feed you. Body armor. Three handgun. This is a nice gun, as you can see. A Colt 9 1191 in this case. That's a really nice gun, actually. It's decent. It's like better than nothing, but I wouldn't recommend it overall. But still, hey, it keeps you safe. And this is not beauty right here. We have an M4 rifle in this case with, with an ACOG sight, I believe. Let's take a look. This, this beauty carries 30 rounds. You have an ACOG iron sight. And it's also... A very popular weapon to fight when you have to mow down zombies and barrages. Good to give to your survivors. We got a couple of units of gear, two more crowbars, and some lashing to help lash up the goods and tie stuff up. And of course, another combat knife. Good for skinning animals, stabbing bears in the back, and of course, kick ass. Up next, look in this grab bag. Up next in this pile, as we add to this giant pile here, as you can see, we got a couple pair of winter gloves because winter is coming soon, so we need to stay warm. A bunch more baseball bats, so I probably can have an unofficial Major League Baseball team once things cool down. Tons of salt, yes, salt for salting meat to be salty and also salt the meat. More metal scraps, more components, some more batteries to keep our flashlight on, more pain killing dope because we need to help numb the pain. We got a couple bars of chocolate to help bring up morale when people are depressed. More sugar to make alcohol. More beef cans. A pack of warm duct tape. More salt. Canned fruit. More canned fruit. Because we need tons of vitamin C, folks. Because I don't, we haven't figured out how to grow fruits yet. So we need the vitamin C to help keep us healthy. More lemon nectar cola. And a rag. As you can see, this loop house is getting bigger already. Up next, we have even more lovely loot, as you can see. We got a couple of heavily damaged engine blocks for our cars, in case we need to swap cars up. A pair of tactical gloves so we can feel like a military badass. More scraps and components. More body armor. Another t-shirt. Another back for swing battle batter. A spark plug, because every car practically needs one. Some car batteries. 
a sewing kit to help sew some clothes, more canned fruit so we won't die of scurvy, matches, tons of matches. I know parents say they should let your kids play with matches, but we're grown-ups here, we need matches to light fires, a bunch of nails to hammer goodies in, more batteries, a crowbar, a bunch of antibiotic drugs, because in case we get food poisoning, more bandages, cola, nectar cola, and some more beef cans. Pick up the pan tomato cans are drop down there. Hmm. I don't know what just happened there with my suitcase, but we'll drop way above there. Better get this moving soon because I have a feeling those zombies are gonna spawn soon in this area. Yes. And yes, everything. Uh, Scott going patrol, my team going patrol. Okay, back to the last pile of goodies. We also have another beautiful M4 rifle that'll burst down more zombies. So we can use it to kick some ass, more of these. Look at that. A tons of potato! Apparently in this game, zombies crap out potatoes in this game, you killed them, so more potatoes for our goodness. When I chocolate bar, I found some alcohol so we can drink to help numb the pain or get shit face drunk. Canned tomatoes, more beef cans, some corn seeds so we can grow corn so we can have healthy corn in our diet and to also raise feed for the chickens. A bunch of more canned fruits because like I said, we don't have fruits so we have to like hard to find them so might as well be healthy. And voila! As you can see, that's our giant loot tile that we have that's basically all prepped for our adventures in surviving the land. Hopefully, you might consider this as a good decent amount. I found all this mainly from looting town. So you can say I went to town, a night on the town, and found all these goodies. So you can say, wow, we are good to go now.